what we're announcing today is we're going to extend the stay-at-home order on bars, restaurants, and public accommodations till Monday the 18th of May. It's another divisive decision, impossible to please everyone. Two and a half more weeks of stay-at-home for most. Reaction on social media was swift. Skip Johnson said this is the first time we've quarantined healthy people, protect the vulnerable, and quarantine the sick. Mickey owns a mom and pop retail store and writes she feels the governor's order is unfair, saying, quote, he has already allowed every big box store to open their doors and to hundreds of customers inside their retail shop. Who has our backs, end quote. Joanne echoes that sentiment, saying the big stores are all open. Quote, small business cannot survive. If we can go to the big stores, we can go to the small ones just as safely. This is unconstitutional, end quote. It's not the governor's fault. Corey Warling is a produce and food truck driver. He says he's grateful for government unemployment support during furlough, but his heart breaks for the folks he can't deliver to right now because they're closed. And on Facebook, I've seen some of these, these restaurants are saying, we just can't do it. You know, we've tried to do the, the takeout, but it's just, it's not working. There's not enough customers coming in. And unfortunately, we are going to have to close. With funding that we had, we were able to pay our employees for um, March and April. So that money is now gone. Other businesses like the River Valley Dance Academy sit in limbo, unable to perform recitals and practices, unsure about how to get through the summer. So I'm not really sure how we're going to get through August, and I think that's a concern for a lot of studio owners. But there was praise for the governor's decision as well. Mary Kay thanks the governor's team for protecting lives. Tina Herr says the thorough explanations and data keep her confident in the decisions. Michelle says this makes her proud to be Minnesotan. And for those who are critical of the governor's choice, he sent a clear message during the briefing. Those who are saying that we should open up all businesses tomorrow because this thing's not that serious and we overreacted, they are wrong. Those who are saying we should open up as fast as we possibly can because this is causing huge economic damage and we should figure out a way to do that that is the safest possible way to do it, those people are right.